you know what I'm saying, guys getting the opportunity to coach at the university. And I would love to see guys. Hell, I wanted some of the Bama guys to come coach the Steelman program. I thought that would have right. been, you know what I'm saying, great. But that, that's just my two cents, but I'm not disagreeing with you. even with that, though, like, when you think that these big donors and, and, and these guys got these big pockets would want to put more behind it when, when, when they know that a guy like Reggie Ragland no. or a guy like Drake Hurt that actually had to go through all the – But we ain't said that, though. We ain't painted that picture because we ain't had the invitation. Yeah, all I, all, all, but like, but like, funny man, say the people who are funding the money, they think a totally different way. Just like in NFL, ain't no way half of these locker rooms should be looking how they look, and we get paid millions of dollars. Mm. Mm. Yeah, Cincinnati Bank, hey Drake, Cincinnati, do that? Do do, do no, they, they have an outdoor? Uh, do they have an indoor they facility at all? They don't, they, don't run? they don't have an indoor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all got to understand. We, got we do got to indoor. When? Shit, last year. Bro, Joe Burrow. Right, just, Joe yeah. Burrow sick. Okay, Joe Burrow. We got then. everything. But, okay, so boom. Okay, when you start winning a little bit, you get a little bit. That's how I guess that's how it is. No, but it's the ownership. Man, he wasn't that playing, too. playing every day. The ownership. <laughs> every day. But I'm, I'm going to tell you something. Else. But I'm going to tell you something. At least Buffalo, when I was there, they got brand new stuff. And even now, Terry Pagula, the Pagulas, they always put money into the, into their facilities, giving their players a chance to be successful and great. Just depending on where you at, like even like Kansas City wins a lot, but it's everything. Yeah. Like it just depends how they want to do it. Okay. That's culture. I can give you this: San Francisco, great great organization. I hated that away locker room. That no, away locker room. I hated that shit. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Oakland Raiders. Oh man. You ain't, you ain't been in the old Oakland oh, yeah, the old locker room. Man. They got that blue though. Yeah. Now they yeah. had Oakland A Stadium. Bro, you know I played with Kansas City. Yeah. They hated Oakland hated. Man, look here. They flooded the bathroom with sewage. What? Oh, they did the same man. thing we played. Oh, these, but these ain't major, major cities, y'all naming like Kansas City, <laughs> Oakland. They one step above Birmingham. So Buffalo. To be so Buffalo. Where? Buffalo, Buffalo I put them in that same. All right, but they got. They got they, they, Buffalo probably below Birmingham. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah below. It ain't shitty Birmingham. But the ownership takes care of the players. Yeah. Everything's brand new. But we're we're tying it all back into y'all having an opportunity at the university. Yeah. Keep in mind this is the same university who right. just last right. year was about to put the name of our first black student next to the name of a Confederate Klansman That's on a bill. This ain't this wasn't a long time ago. Mm -hmm. We've never had a black coach, you know what I'm saying, at the university. So what was what I know that's big in their world is selling to other white people. And to be honest, and if it's white people listen, you could debate if you want to, but having a white face of something is important to selling to other white people. We can have black players, but y'all going to put on helmets and crimson. Y'all going to be crimson on the field, mm. but our leadership and our AD and everybody else needs to have a white face for us to sell to a white base. I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you this. Coach don't have his power no more. They rely on his power. He don't have power no more. He can't when I talk to people there, they complain about, oh, we can't talk to these kids no more. They nothing like you guys. Okay, well, they they wouldn't. We'll probably be the same. Well, I probably would have been worse. All right. But let me say this too. Okay, but let me say this though, Trent. Not Trent, but uh, Drake. Yes, sir. Are he recruiting the same kids? Mm. I mean, of course not. Yeah. No, 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 no. So is he recruiting kids like Courtney Upshaw in them trenches? I ain't gonna say that, Kyle. Exactly. exactly. He going to get all these prima donna ass dudes. Like he don't got cats that walk around funky no more. <laughs> <laughs> Man. But, it, but it's the thing though, know, Trent. They made it so easier for everybody to qualify now. It's easier to qualify now. That's true. It's, oh, yeah. Yes, it's way easier. 
Bro, I know you know you had to take the five parts of the Alabama graduation exam, plus on top taking the ACT, plus on top passing your classes. Right. <laughs> now you ain't got to take that. You just got to take the ACT, and then they pay for it. And then they take the ACT in school. We took that mug on a Saturday after a game. Listen, bro, I took my ACT. But that's the crazy thing. If you take it once, they shouldn't say nothing. It'd be different if you took it multiple times. They thought they thought Kurt was cheating. He went back and scolded. I agree. Three NCAA administrators in my hometown. I remember that. They gave me a month to take the test. I took the test in July. I remember that. I remember that. Two days. That's why I remember that. That's the. I remember that. That's the version Cause of the drug I, test after you. Cause like, that's why. Cause like, that's you say right. you took it one time, got what you needed, and got about it up. Like, they're, they're not supposed to subpoena you for that. After you take it one time, you get a high score. It'll be different than say you took like you took it twice, you got like a 15 and 16. Then you come back and get like a 19 or well, 20. It wasn't them, it was my school. Somebody in my high school said I cheated. Oh, that's you so hate slimy. You know, <laughs> oh my goodness! And now so we slimy. go back to the mentality: do uh, not change. They want to see you in one. Yeah. They're comfortable with seeing you in one position, right. mm -hmm. and then you got people that don't even like to see you in that position, right. and we'll try to, you know, what I'm saying, stop you from doing that. It's yeah. just man, let me tell you, man, man, I right think right they've got enough power and really don't give a fuck about what go on, to where yeah. he did not deliver his pudding, bro. Coach, whatever he say, go, bro. I'm telling you, the man. Wait, Dre, you him. just said he lost his power. Now, which, 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 no. no are you talking about two different power. things? I'm talking about his power for the way his mentality is for the players and how he get his players to play. But you know, a big, a big, a big problem is that. Man, I think that's what Kevin said, bro. Yeah. Ain't nobody going to tell him what he can do and what he can't do. But like I said, I don't think he recruiting the same type of cast that we were. Like I said, he ain't going in them trenches no more. Like, when have you heard him say he went and got him out of Utah, Alabama? Shit, me? Because the mentality he yeah, had, we was thrown off. These boys ain't thrown off. But guess what, bro? A throwed-out corner from Gaz and Alabama was fucked up. I love it. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You got what I'm saying. Like, it, it seems like he breaking in cats that already got it. Like, when, when I was coming through, Muggs was sharing noodles, man, and stuff like that. Asking cats, can we borrow money? They ain't borrowing money no more. They riding around the Teslas. They riding around in damn Raptors. Oh, rap. But everybody ain't had a charge with their name on the side. So this ain't nothing. I'm talking about actively recruiting. You know what they say about my son? They say, oh, he's he's 5'11", 96 foot, and we haven't seen him run since his freshman year. My son was just on the 707 team with the five-star, number one state in the country. The man couldn't talk about son's shoes. Hmm. Ooh. So I'm telling you is they look at they are excellent old team now. They ain't got the Kirby Smart. They ain't got the Bobby Williams in the in the rooms no more. They saying fuck that coach. This is what we need. <laughs> okay. It's about the coach. Like, they, they, they ain't oh. squat jumping no more, Dre. No, they definitely ain't squat jumping. <laughs> they definitely ain't got no TJ in there that's gonna tell you the truth. But like he's saying, though, man, like they ain't got nobody in there that's gonna tell you the truth that actually played the game, that's passionate Ooh. about it. And then you know. On top of that, when you lose a guy like Coach Cochran, like that takes so much willpower power from you, bro. Like they killed him. Bro, they when when him. they took Co Co when Cochran left, like for all the players that played for Cochran that played, like bro, we feel like like bro, we were losing a cousin or something. Like we felt like yeah. something was like. Oh, nothing about them new them new strip guys down there, dog. Okay. They bring it in. All you hear is signs down. Signs. They literally just dropped the video I see like that. two days ago on the right. page. Highlighting the the science of the workout, yeah. dude, bigger than Manos, but he like punching the buttons. Natural, like when is the 
instead of putting all these different stuff that we have never had to use, I'm not saying that it's not good, but for mm-hmm. some, when it comes to bump, bro, you, it's time to just bump. Let me, let me see who's going to line up beside me or on the other side of me or who's going to smash my head or who I'm going to have to smash his head. Like, that's when Mentality it comes to, bro, is like, the, that same, means, like the, the mindset, bro, like, it, it's way it different. It is talent, though, Red. It definitely is talent, too, but. It, it right, but it's like. Cats is not hungry like, like we was. You in there, bro? Every talent can be developed, bro. Like, mm. they made it there through their talent. And I just feel like they not getting up. Yeah, and they, and they, and your mentality kept me going. Yeah, I got mentality it. kept me going, but that dog kept me going. That's what I'm saying. I don't see no cats who just that's naturally that's got dog. dog I know, and that's what I'm saying. But they don't have cats that was naturally dogs. Like that's what I'm saying. Like they bringing in cats. They go to private schools. I got to go to IMG to get a chance. I'm not saying because my boy Bo Scarborough went there. Bo from Tuscaloosa and Bo that deal, but. They don't have guys that got that's just straight dog mentality. And just when I step on that field, off the field, nice as hell. But when I step on that field, oh, I know what type of cat I got beside me. And I don't see that out of nobody. Mm-hmm. Like, I knew how Dre was when he hit the field. Me watching him sitting at the 50-yard line in the, in the, in the section watching y'all play as a recruit, man. I saw it from first hand. I don't see it now at all. I don't see that just straight man. That, that, that straight just alpha male like that no more. I don't see that. Because yeah. regardless of how we felt, like like Trent always says, Rolando always kept everybody in line. Right. When I was there my first couple of years, CJ kept everybody in line. Right. Then CJ passed it down to me. Then, then Ruben. But then on the offensive side, AJ my first high couple high. of years. High, you know, high time, all of them cats. I just don't see cats passing that down to other dudes no more. Bro, these boys don't even sing the damn song no more walking out the tunnel. Yeah, I ain't been hearing it. So that, that, let, that lets me know right then and now <laughs> how it is, bro. They don't sing it no more. Yeah, cool. But we got to take a break. Yeah, we got to take a break. That's <laughs> first. Stay on that one. We got to get a new table. <laughs> we got to get a new table, too. <laughs> Listen, man, okay, we'll be right back, man. I don't know if Drake going to stay on that one. Uh, if you can, Dre, uh, stay on those, man. We'll be right back, man, with the rules with TR3. Yeah, sure. Man, the break. We ain't gotta do that. I mean, I'm over here. No, with I'm you. saying, I'm saying <laughs> what he's saying about the, oh, the, the kids that y'all starting to see yeah, come okay. through. I, Ask me what, what I see in the middle school. They mom was crying every time the coach cuss them out. Man, and then like, but then like, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Don't talk to my baby like that. Man, I ain't gonna lie. The linebacker coach at Bama right now, I don't know him, but he That's don't. All, all, he he seems he seem like a nice guy, but. He got to come on. Right? He seemed like he was too nice over there. It was probably because it was the first day when I when I got there. So it was probably, I want to see how he is now. Don't give him a chance. Yeah, give him a chance. But I need to break it down and break it all off. You know what I'm saying? I, I think a lot of people, too, players and coaches, are just coming in Bama to springboard. Mm-hmm. Like, once you got Bama on your resume, that, that's, exactly you what that, that, that's exactly what Dre yeah. just said. Yeah, like, you a coach. I coach at Bama. Oh, yeah, we got yeah, we got to hire you. You get credentials, bro. You get, you get yeah. that pedigree, and so now everybody wants some of that pedigree. Right. Even for folks that don't particularly start first. And yeah, I will say that I, I agree with name. y'all that the teams felt different, but even if the guys are soft and all that, I still got to put in the context that we won it in 20. We was one game away from the playoffs in 21. And then we had two close losses last year. So even if it is this fall off, we're still in the mix. You know what I'm saying? So some some going But it's different because we, like saying, the fans and everybody was in the mix, winning the mix, but we was in the mix. We knew how they walked and talked. Like even even the coaches, like we had, they walked around with a swagger, man. Right. They they, they walked around just like they some – Big, but you know what I'm saying. That's yeah. how that's how we walked yeah. around. I do got a question though. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. what you're saying that yeah, we we have been knocking, we still been knocking <laughs> yeah, on the door for most mm-hmm. of these it's years. Always, but do you think any of these <laughs> recent past teams, <laughs> even with the teams that may have lost one or two <laughs> games, mm-hmm. if they were to go that's head to cool. head, you think this past yeah, team would still be in contention? So, oh, that's a good question. Because like uh, let's say mean, could could. 
because the last the, the last two Bamas beat like a twenty fourteen or a twenty ten nah, or twenty fourteen. Mentality totally different. That's what I'm saying, and I think that's the biggest thing for most players and even the fans that uh-huh. you can see. Even for 2014, it has some type of edge. You, can hear you, yeah. you had to take yeah. it from them. You know what I mean? 2010, you had to take it from them. <laughs> so I think <laughs> it just seemed y'all, like so they, y'all it, y'all play y'all. I'm gonna make a statement and y'all tell me if y'all agree or not. Mm-hmm. I think what what changed with the mentality is why are you still talking to the mic. I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But y'all tell me if y'all agree with this or not. I think. Y'all guys, and then the guys that brought y'all in, you're dealing with the people that built the house versus folks that just moved into it. Uh-huh. And they ain't going to care about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, even when you heard. We did. Yeah, we laid the foundation. We put up the walls. So don't, you can't tear our shit down. But everybody else now, they just moving into a pretty house. So they probably yeah, don't cherish it. That's how it's Man, supposed to be. Think of like that. Yeah. <laughs> you said what you said. You said it. How you said it. Say that to Kirk when you go back home. Yeah. That make a lot of sense, though. I ain't, I ain't really yeah, And that happens. But that, goes back. Back. but that goes back to what I was saying some months ago about every, uh, them being the foundation, about y'all being the yeah, foundation. Yeah, mm-hmm. And then I came <laughs> oh in, and I'm one of the appliances <laughs> in the damn yeah. house. That's different mm-hmm. from me. Now, they like the new shiny gold. They like the new stuff, like you just you just press and it just come down. That's right. Paint job. They, yeah, yeah, yeah. they ain't got to do nothing. Me, I had to take my cup and go shh, and water and ice come down. Now they just got to go ping and it come out. Yeah. But how do you how do you get somebody moving in and appreciate? Bro, I had, I had to walk you got you got to, you got to <laughs> teach them the history of the house. Walk through this with you. <laughs> they got to know the history of the house, bro. Like they right. gotta they gotta know. And even like when I uh I heard Julio and them on a uh on the barbershop podcast, they was talking about how raggedy the 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 weight room was oh, and the silly to them. But I'm like, I know what y'all had. <laughs> y'all should have brought y'all had across the street to steal and see what we had. Okay. You would have appreciated what you had because to us, that y'all was, was New England Patriots. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> so it's levels, it's levels to it, bro. It's the Broncos. Yeah, it's Broncos. It's levels. Literally. I'm just giving perspective. Yeah, that's, that's, a, good that's a good way to put it. That's funny. It's the Broncos. That's a good way to put it. I used to work out in there with with the players. I feel like yeah. athletes now are they're feeling more more entitled. How you gonna tell them they not though? Welcome back to Rose with TR3 on our second half. We are the, the problem is is that's on time heroes gone here. Which, uh, I'm gonna say the problem is the kids is coming in now. They feel entitled because they giving them the world. That's right. And like, I, and like, and like, and like, and like <laughs> me personally, NIL is cool, but I think you should get the NIL when you put in that work. And you put in the time. So, Dre, you going through this process of, of your son. Man, I'm about, to, I'm about to say, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, bro. I, I, I'm going to these Georgia Auburn with my son, South Carolina, Tennessee. Bro, when we were walking through Georgia, y'all know what the fuck going on. They got, they spread. Hey, hey, we all on the radio. We drink when you fine for this. <laughs> they got a real much chance. They got all these guys, bro, like, they got that fire, got that dog in them. And they, they know how to talk to these players. When you go through Bama, bro, they got to go holler that cap in the damn weight room to get a relief. Or to be able to, to get some kind of comfortability. Yeah, I feel like they're going to Bama for the next level. They're trying to get out. They're hoping they can win this year and get the hell on. Mm. That's what's going on. Mm. So if we if he bring in guys like us, <coughs> we ain't trying to go play for coaching or the team. We don't care about the NFL. We get comfortable where we at. That's what I'm saying. We just trying to get the best out of these kids and let them know it's okay to be a dog. It's like to control it and when to turn it on and when to turn it off. And, and that's what I remember the most getting recruited to Bama, man. Like we want you to be a dog, but we also gonna teach you how to control it. Yeah, that's one thing that we, we, we can say 
And when you when you left that field and you was outside at Brian, you know, sitting on that back, that stoop. Well, that stoop could talk, boy. Man, listen. <laughs> uh, we done had our best of times out there just at the camp, just, you know, just kicking it. But Funny Man said something when we was offline, Kirk, uh, and it made a lot of sense. Funny Man, can you give us a little bit of what you were talking about when we was offline? Yeah, I was like, the way, I think the mentality has changed because everybody, I, I don't want to put a year on it, but I try my best. Let's say everybody from 2017 back built the house that is the new Bama. Everybody after that just kind of moved into a house. Like, it's a nice house, but, you know, you ain't going to care about it when you just move in like mm -hmm. the people that built it. And I think that's a big reason that the mentality looks different. Because as a fan, I definitely see, you know, a change in just that dog-dominate mentality. I, I haven't seen domination in in them kids since 2020. That was That was it. 21, 22, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Because I, I'm going to go on the limb, but I'm going to say this. Only like four or five could have played with us. Mm. From last year, T? Yeah. Yes. And general, up to general, now like. I think three. Henry Toll Toll and who else? Man, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you about to get my daddy back. Oh, you about to get my daddy back. Best counsel. Boy, you stuck a nerve. I ain't, ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> Bryce could have played with us and Will. Anybody else after that? Who y'all think? Kool Aid. Kool Aid. Okay, I forgot. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Kool Aid got Kool Aid. I, I like. He won, Kool Aid like he won the last of the Mohicans. Yeah. Am Kool I the only fan of DJ Dale, bro? Every time I bring him up, everybody like, look at me sideways. As I watched I him as a fan, right <laughs> what am I missing? Because the, the times that he got in, I saw effort. I saw potential. I didn't say he but I'm no, raised I'm, him. I'm, 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 I might be lineman dominate. When I played, when you comparing him to play with us, we had maybe seven guys on defense, seven guys on offense that was predominant household name. Right. Facts. That's what we try to say. Ain't no more of that. Yeah. Ain't mm -hmm. no more of that. It's, you know, and he's, man, they just soft as fuck. I told my son, like, I don't like Alabama safety. I hate them. They soft. They don't feel no gap. They ain't coming down a hill, and they ain't like that. Mm. Was, I'm not, I'm not, I'm yeah. there, bro. So like both, both of y'all, you. Shoulder, like, yeah. Mark, don't hit me, bro. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> you and Dre, Reggie and Dre, y'all were on defense. Is that a lot on the kids or more on the coaching? The coaching. Mm. The coaches. Because but but, but it's the thing, though. That's the coaches motivated us, and the coaches said they wanted a certain yeah. standard. Okay, they, they, they got that standard they wanted. But what we did, we took it to another level. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was just more to get guys just to line up and do their job. It was it was more so guys just making guys feel you out there. Uh -huh. As defensive guy, you supposed to feel us out there. You know what I'm saying? They not feeling us no more. I'm going to tell you the difference. And Trent don't know about this. The difference is when you got a Mark, I mean, a Julio Jones on the other side and you got a Drake Kirkpatrick side, that practice is for him every day. Hell yeah. Uh, Y'all don't understand how many times, man, this man got his school. How many times this man, no, this man really oh, ran me over in a fucking, a thud up practice. <laughs> <laughs> was not made for any of them. But then, the you know yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but hey, uh, they, they didn't hype this up. They didn't hype this up from the time the game. It's LSU week, guys. <laughs> Sunday, we got them hundreds. But Monday, you going to thud the run after being sore. Listen, that was probably the first time I done said something, something to a defense guy like, hey, bro, what we doing, bro? <laughs> like, Drake is trying to take my life. Bro, you good? What we doing? I really feel like it just going back to Coach Saban's power, bro. Like, when I used to go through my distances, uh, want to get on the field, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, I want to transfer this past my, my freshman year. I'm like, I want to leave. But he he, he had it. My, like, I, wanted, I was like, but I'd go to LSU. Gee, we all want to do We all had that little moment. We, had, we all had that moment. Bro, look at I never get it's me, Alan T. Tim Penny, 
and Derek, man, on the back of the stupid and the other guys, man. The cats back, they got the boombox, sad, listen to music, rapping. <laughs> I can't wait to go. Y'all in jail. But, that, but, but, but that's the thing, though. We sat there and we waited our turn. Sometimes you got to wait your turn. Some guys get it. Some, some guys get they get theirs early. Some guys get it later. Like everybody laughed. And talked about me like a dog my first two years. I was stutter giving the calls and everything. But you know what I did? I said, F it. I'm a I'm a I'm gonna keep working, put the and put the time in, and when my time comes, it's gonna come. And you did that to me because of Kurt. <laughs> Kurt, <laughs> Kurt I, I already know what you about to say, that damn punk. <laughs> hey, Kurt, he did better than me, did you know that damn punk that day? Man, coach told me to call this play. <laughs> You got red and you got blue. You know how he is. <laughs> eight man, seven. Yeah, eight man box. Hey, Chris stopped the whole play. Chris said, "He's looking at Bobby. What we doing again?" <laughs> <laughs> Just out. I can say right. goodbye to you, coach. This ain't for me. I can block anybody, coach. Yeah, I can't yeah. call him. Put me on the wing, coach. Yeah, this is not me on the wing. This ain't for me. Man, coach Saban looked and just started laughing. <laughs> Well, look good. Boy, that was one of the moments like, bro, why am I up here like <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not up here? So let me hit a run the football. Let me, <laughs> so let me ask this, and y'all probably have been around these guys so weird. Before you say that, before that, go we got Coach Jared, man. Coach Jared, man, how you doing? Man, I'm good, man. Run around and you know, I'm good for this challenge. How y'all doing, Tom? Man, we good. good, man. We just want to introduce you real quick. We know you was online, but uh funny man, you had a question. Yeah, this is for y'all, man, the former players. Um with the, the changes to the offensive and defense coordinator, uh, new linebacker coach bringing in ha ha some different pieces, do y'all see it being different this fall, or is it going to be more of the same from twenty two? Mm. Mm. I don't know. Um, or is it a wait and see situation? I feel like they got to wait and see because you never know what you got. Uh huh. The same. I can honestly say this, but, 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 I, but, I, but, I, but I can honestly say this, though. Kevin's still the reason why I became who I became. Uh -huh. And I trust Kevin Steele. Who, who, who was that, baby? Uh, he was my linebacker coach my junior year when, when he gave me the confidence to go do my thing. He's still he's DC. He's, he's, he's back now. He's, he's back, back now. Down. He's the defensive coordinator. Like, I, can I, me, personally, I, I'm backing Kevin Steele. And listen, and so I want people to realize, too, like, when Kurt's talking about us coming back to coach, we ain't talking about just hiring us to be some coordinators. We ain't saying that. We saying like, hey, bro, the, those pieces that we know that we know that we didn't play that at, at our highest mark. You know, when it comes to playing sports and know and learning what we had to learn, like mm -hmm. put us in those positions. Mm -hmm. Like, and now you see the different results because you look at the the running backs now; they don't finish like me and Mark used to finish. They do not. No, they all finish like you got people in trade. Yeah, you got people flying. You got people going out of bounds. Like that wasn't. A, uh -huh. If you going, if I'm going out of bounds, you're going with me. I'm yeah. taking one or two with me. But I mean, to be honest, man, at all of the SEC schools, look at Cadillac situation at Auburn. Yeah, but I just, ain't talking about that. We, no, we, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. What I'm saying, I'm talking about, I'm talking about how they look. How they view former players. Oh, yeah. true. I think they're just comfortable seeing y'all as players. Uh -huh. And you know what I'm saying? For whatever reason, they don't view y'all as coaches. I I would love but to see you. You can look at a Georgia sideline or a Clemson mm -hmm. sideline. Mm -hmm. You can look at a Clemson sideline yeah. or a Georgia sideline and then it's packed with old players. Taj Boyd. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's, it's, I mean, even Ohio State. She I mean, are they having CJ GA Spiller. positions or CJ real Spiller, positions? Bro. Yeah, they, they are. Yeah, they, 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 they got real positions. They are coordinators. Ah. They coaches. They the coordinators. Bro, I, and well, like, bro, I don't at least, I can at least see, like we said, Vallejo's coming back and coaching offensive line. Yeah. You know, like you yeah. said, Kevin Norwood coming back coaching the receivers. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Nico I, Johnson. I even got a question, though, because – he made up a good point as far as with the Cadillac, with even with Auburn. I don't, I'm gonna be hundred with you. I don't even see Alabama even entertaining it like right. Auburn did. Right. Yeah. And, and that's my thing, though, bro. Like, Man, where are these coaches? They would, I bet they would. If Trent was to go back and be like, I coach, I want to be the running back coach. He might like Cornell did. Cornell did two years intern, did the became the running back coach. Yeah, with Bama. No, uh, no, 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 but that's what I was saying. Like, 
Alabama the school itself. You think even if Trent wanted to, like, if if, if he wanted to entertain that option to go into running back coach, you think they would let him? They would accept him. And they say no. Man, we'll, we'll, boy, we'll take a I'm with you, but I, I'm like. They can always go back and get We can change the narrative if we really want it. But you got to think. Okay, I'm talking about this, but I don't want to coach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because these kids are different. I would say this. I would say this, man. In my lifetime, I just never seen it. Not in the 80s, 90s, 2000, 2010s, 20s. But we know it can happen. Nico Ryans. Yeah, that would have been yeah. perfect. Like, that would have been great. But that's, that's what I'm great. saying. We know y'all are... Bama grooms great players who knows the X's and O's, bro. And if you get a shot like D'Amico got, he he the top guy. Man, let me tell you something. D'Amico already got them boys down there in Houston looking good. Well, that city ready to explode. Mm -hmm. But he didn't, he didn't brought in hella pieces already to make that team go, dog. He didn't brought, he didn't brought in some pieces. I'll, his style. I'll take it. I'll take it to another level. Florida State wouldn't give Dion a shot. Look what happened when he finally got a shot. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, he gonna be mm. what you know, yeah. See, but he do he got to do it. Oh, 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 Thank that you. was their, that was their so-called. Yeah, we know that, that that's just an so, excuse. Well, that marks me, me off the list. Me okay. too. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I got mine. <laughs> yeah, me too. I got mine. <laughs> and, and we know that's such a. Yeah, that's crazy. We know that's BS, bro. No, nobody. I don't. I couldn't tell you to this day where Les Miles graduated from, where mm. Gene Chizik graduated from. <laughs> but if you look at the one player that Bama did give a shot, it was Mike Shula. Mm. Yeah. And he wasn't even a great <laughs> player. He went. He ain't even in the conversation when we talking you know, about former know, Bama quarterback. Daddy, who is daddy? Who is daddy? daddy? You're right. Well, that's great, it. The great Don Chula, ain't it? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, he got, he got his dad. Yeah, you telling me we ain't had quarterbacks and other people that could coach better than Mike Shula, who had no coaching experience, and they chose this man. They chose this man over another alum, Sylvester Croom. And Sylvester Croom went to Mississippi State, got an opportunity, and kicked Bama ass twice. <laughs> he beat Shula and he beat. Mm. Saving. Hey, you know who I love to see coach though at Bama? Oh. I just said it. John Parker Wilson, the oh. QB. That would be coach. fire. I would love to see that, man. I would love to see JP what? Dub. That would be fire. Either as a as a coach or a financial person. <laughs> <laughs> he came and talked to us about them numbers. Yeah, man. he called with them numbers, bro. I need to call. After he killed the NIL. Oh yeah, you give I'm me cool AJ. Right there. Yeah, you yeah. give me AJ. I, I, listen. I'm cool right there. You give me AJ. Okay. But that goes back to my argument. They want a face that they want. When you choose the the resume of the non-existent resume of Mike Shula over the big resume of Sylvester Croom, dog, we ain't got nothing else to okay. talk about. Well, I'm about to. Sit, sit, I'm gonna go against that. The reason why I'm going to go against that, you look at Orlando McClain. Orlando McClain was lining up to be a defense, uh, linebacker coach or next to a, a defense coordinator in Alabama. He was over there working in the weight room. He was coach David had moved him out there. He was doing all this work yeah, yeah. one for him. Orlando get in a fight. Orlando get put the gun to the dude head, shoot it off. All these things, and he tarnished that. So I saw where Orlando was hit. He didn't make it a season because his his own he he self he self inflicted his own wounds. So coach, I know what way coach was doing. Coach was giving him an opportunity that was because coach wanted to coach. That was his favorite. 
Yeah, yeah, that's that's definitely yeah. That yeah, Rose set the tone. Now. That was definitely Nick Baby now. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, he, I did. he was the leg. He was the leg. Now, if it was, yeah, but, it was somebody that coached that defense. And then I look at it like this. You got to think, yeah, it's easy, but still, I don't want to coach Trent. I honestly don't want to coach because he would, you know, if he did, he would have went, went there and pursued it. Of course, of course Trent don't want to coach. But <laughs> nothing, I no, love he, he don't feel like he's watching. You know what I'm saying? We both know. I ain't disagreeing with you. I think we talking about two different things, though, Kurt. And I think the folks that, that had their wallets open for Bama, if if – I think if somebody with with some melanin it, get a little, you're on it, yeah, if That's they get saying. if they get a little too much power down there, all of a sudden, ah, yeah, we ain't got as much money as we had That's now. Right. Man, look at you know what I'm saying. The most powerful man is in t- is seen, man. <laughs> 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 seen <is> more powerful. <laughs> Said it with Papa Main in Tuscaloosa in the state of Alabama. Well, Say what crazy. you want. He's behind the scenes on everything. Exactly. They comfortable with him being right there. Mm-hmm. He can't be the well, outward well, faith. Well, we all know who well, said it. I agree with what you said. So, yeah. so funny, I, man. I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't agree with I agree. nobody in the I don't care how much money you got. I don't care how much money you got. I feel like Coach Saban, he's just stuck in his way. I agree. He haven't transitioned to this new new. This new way of recruiting. You think Coach Saban, what, what I realized is when he got out of Atlanta and started talking shit about Texas Coach and Dion. Like, mm, Coach, you fucked up. They ain't never seen you fucked up. You fucked up. <laughs> Man, we all the red What you were saying, Coach? Hey, so I was saying, like, I agree with what you're saying about paint, the melanin person, and that's everything, too. Now, mm-hmm. The only thing, the only thing, I, and I say, and I question this is, I'm not gonna call nobody name out, and, but but Trent, Trent know exactly who I'm talking about. Reggie probably do, and and Dre do too. <laughs> but when you get another person, when you give a person a certain person an opportunity, and they mess up on those opportunities, as in to keep trying to go up in the ranks, and they keep getting, they keep messing up. That messes up for. Other person, yes, yeah. yeah, because at the same time, guess what? I'm giving somebody an opportunity, so guess what? It's scaring me for the next person. So that's just like, in fact, and so, so okay, after this, this trend, don't call his name now. When Scott Cochran left, we know who was supposed to go to weight room because we still there, right? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, 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 after you mess up so many times, won't you be scared to hide somebody like that? And then guess what? You don't supposed to be scared, but it's just, oh, I keep trying to get just out of trouble. Now I'm going to have another. I never know what I'm going to have. You never know. Wait, what? Okay, you lost me. I, I, I thought we were talking about what we were talking about. <laughs> 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 I'm calling you. No, no, you're right, baby, but I was talking about what funny man had said. Wow, I'm right about, about what? What are you thinking about? Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You yeah, know. He, did. he, he clearly yeah. no, 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 I, I got. It. I got. It. I know. I got. It. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I put. I'm, I'm, I'm stepping in. What you putting down? I got. I got. It. I got. It. <laughs> but yeah. So that's all I was saying. But at the same time, I get what funny man want. You want? We want some more. Some more. Uh, some more. I'll coach you on the sideline too. But I ain't gonna lie to you. It's, it's very. Has it? Has it been a black head coach at ACC? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Vanderbilt. Sylvester Croom. Oh. You had Derek. Uh, my boy, my boy, yeah, with the Indian uh, State. Yeah. But he said SEC. It's yeah, only my, been my boy that was at Penn, he's at Penn State right now. He's yeah. the coach at Vandy. Yeah. 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 That's it. Vandy yeah. had two back to back. Kevin Sumner. Yeah. Oh, Sumner. I forgot that's about Sumner. Am I forgetting about? Yeah, I think that's it, bro. That's it. That's about three. So, so, quick question. Quick question. Do y'all ever think there will be a black head coach at Vanderbilt? Ha, no. Man, you yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, to get us counsel, man. We got to go to the next question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got to go to the next I, question. Bro. Listen, yeah. we, may, we may one day get a black coach. i tell you what we won't have at the same time. A black AD, a coach, and two uh, coordinators. He is staff. I bet you that. He is staff. And a president. And a president. Yeah. Man, y'all trying to get us counsel. <laughs> no, we just have a conversation. Right. The players ain't got to act. This is a fan thing. It ain't never happened. So <laughs> if somebody got a problem with it, tell me why it ain't never happened. So I have a question. What What is it going to take to change that? Chuck. 
What 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 what, 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 what does it take to change it? Man, look here, I'm gonna tell y'all something. Oh, I know. Still having that I know, I know, I know, I know when to throw gasoline on the fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we're doing right now. We just we throwing gasoline on the fire and to burn up the whole house. <laughs> Listen, I, I'll be honest. I'm not. I just want Bama to have the best. You know, the best may not be a black person at that position. I'm fine with that. that that's how it been. So I'm not pushing or advocating saying we need a whole black staff. No, nah, I want a, a staff that's going to get the job done. But I would like to see more brothers and sisters had an opportunity because I think they know ball just as much as anybody else. True. True. Yeah, I agree with you on that. They gave us a, a, a couple of black basketball coaches, but I don't think that's going to be. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that man, man, man gets struck in yeah, yeah, yeah. This man, Reggie. This man, me and my dad is a fall go. <laughs> I, love, I love my school. I appreciate that. Curl, I had to take my glasses off, but they done fallen up over here. I appreciate everybody giving me the opportunity at this school, but hey. That's about it. Curtis Blue out there. Shout out to Avery Johnson and my brother. Man. Uh, Anthony Grant. Anthony Grant. Shout yeah. out to them, man. Anthony Grant's a beast up in Ohio. With, uh, yeah. Dayton. Shout out. Yeah. Shout out to Pat Boy, too. Pat? Yeah. Shout out to Pat Boy. 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 Yeah. Before y'all walked in, we was having mm-hmm. a conversation about uh, <laughs> nephew. Oh yeah. I mean, not, I don't want to say about yeah. the goat. Talking about Jokic, <laughs> what Jokic did last night. Oh yeah, we, he, he, congratulations to Denver. But <laughs> my, 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 my see you later, bro. Goodbye. But yeah, we was talking about how uh, Denver won, and mm-hmm. with Miami, how they lost. My predecessor, my mentor, shout out to Mr. Lockett. He said mm-hmm. Jimmy Butler obviously ain't the guy. Don't say nothing, Cole. I know you're going to say <laughs> Cole, Cole, I'm with you, bro. Cole, I'm with you, Cole. Don't say nothing, Cole. Wait till you finish. He, he <laughs> said he's obviously not the guy. I said, how can you say that? Uh, he he and he was like, well, when he got down to the championship, he didn't get it done. Clearly, he ain't the guy because he's supposed to be able to blah, 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 blah. All right? And it boiled down to LeBron because nobody can mm-hmm. stop mentioning anything basketball, not saying LeBron. Okay, so when LeBron got popped up, he was like, well, Trent was like, well, we hold Jimmy Butler to that stuff. And, but, but what we do to LeBron? And it boiled down to being the guy and how we don't hold Jimmy Butler and we're not holding him to the same standard that we do a LeBron. But I was like, LeBron is in the conversation on, Chris, with on, goats. Oh this is but, but, but then, but then, hold on, then, but then I said, so Michael Jordan wasn't that guy when he first got him, when he came in the league because he took a whole shoe brand and took it from whatever, 500 k or whatever to $100 million within a year by himself. But then he also said, what um, what did it take for Jordan to win? I say, yeah, Jordan. It took Jordan to get Scottie Pippen and a whole bunch of other guys with him to win. But even before then, when he was getting coached by um, Doug. Uh, yeah, the guy nobody remember. The guy what's his nobody name? Yeah. Doug Collins. Doug Collins. Yeah. He was scoring champ. He was MVP. All of that, right? Clearly, the guy from Chicago. But clearly, but once they switched up the offense. That's when they started winning. Because it's a team game. Exactly. And to me, Miami, first of all, you cannot knock what Miami accomplished this year. <sighs> At the end of the day, they just ran up against a better team. I'm, I'm glad for that. Like, Denver is just a better team. You know what I liken it to? The 2001 76ers, who went, ran through the East, played well. The Damn. offense ran through Iverson. They had some good bigs. Gentlemen switch. But the then, <laughs> here come the Lakers. It's just a better team. And they got they one game in the finals, too. Hey, hey, the, the step over Tyron Lue game, which we all remember. But AI ain't the guy because he can't get it done. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, listen, I'm not going to take nothing away from Miami, bro. I didn't think nobody was going to beat Boston, to be honest. So for them to go through who they went through, the Knicks. Boston and who am I missing? Right, they went to the Bucks first. 
Bucks. That's right. The Bucks. The number Knicks, one man, team. So listen, but that, we that say, one easy. And so, and I'm trying to play both sides of this, right? All right. I'm joking again. <laughs> because we say like that, that, you know, if, if we say that, you know, he is the guy. Then I mean, how can we criticize LeBron for making to the championship ten times and only winning four of them? They criticize him all the time for going eight straight times, bro. Nine. They went nine straight times. I, mean, I, I think you, got, you, you have to criticize him out there and say, I'm the best player in the world. Bro, but this, that, and when we say that, bro, this, this happens <laughs> at the end of his final year in the league. I mean, from this year, right? He's never said that before. And he uh, said that. Right. After, well, he did say that. He, listen, he said, I, I, I got GOAT status after I won a 3 1 comeback. He, he did no say that. Every time they well, bring up a conversation, that. they be like, Well, how you feel? I feel like I'm the best player in the world, to be honest. I mean, he said it multiple times. Multiple times. So this is my thing, bro. <laughs> Rhythm spoon. So this is my thing with that. Like, bro, why can't this man get his own roses? Because of shit. I mean, well, people be like, well, you humble you. yourself. I feel like that's, that's a conversation of people be like, well, because you can't do it, now I got to humble myself. No. Like, bro, I've been humble my whole career. It's a problem with him getting his own roses. Right? I think it's a problem when you say that and then when you. J. Cole, you the, you the church league MVP, though, right, J. J. Cole? No. <laughs> Uh-oh. And so with that, you wear that you wear that crown, right? Absolutely. So why can't why can't oh, hold on hold on? What is church league MVP? Hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on. Bad as uh, 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 uh. bad as I want us, bad as I want him to hit is he got to come back tomorrow. That's a lot of time. We that is a lot of time. That's yeah. a lot. <laughs> but what up, Chris? Hey, what's happening, y'all? How y'all doing? Good, man. Hell What's up? Hell. Hey, you got two minutes, brother. Get your spiel on. I got you. I, look, I heard y'all <laughs> talking about the, uh, the Jimmy Butler thing. I had to call in. And uh, to me, that Miami team and uh, and what y'all talking about, like wanting to compete, being mm-hmm. tough, I think it encompasses all of that. Just like how y'all was players, I think that's how Miami was able to overcheat, you know? Right. I mean, I think the way they approached the way, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. they played over their head. But all the guys who everybody else thinks is supposed to be the guy, they want to compete worse. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, that makes sense. Like, they playing every game like it's their last meal. Denver just better. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But they approach never changed throughout the entire playoff. All right, well, let me say this. You think if they had – because, like, they got the perimeter guys to shoot and they – they missed Tyler Hero, but you think they had one more big man to get it done? Because because Bam Parker I mean, ass ain't do it. It ain't even big. They just need one more player. We talking about uh, just like we saw the you know the Lakers. I mean, all these teams more talented. I mean, they was the AC. I mean, and they did all this without Tyler Hero. It was all based off competition. Man. They just got that much harder. Yeah. Kind of like what you're saying. The difference. The difference between just say like somebody. But tonight, y'all got y'all ass. <laughs> Man, listen.